Uh, the virtual Mask of the Red Death was created by the Theater 693 class as part of the Teller Second Life pilot project. Uh, the intent was to explore how the virtual world of Second Life could be used to support creativity and to foster collaboration by creating a production based on Edgar Allan Poe's short story. The class consisted of six undergraduate and two graduate students representing five different departments. In our initial brainstorming sessions, we discussed trying to produce the text in a way similar to a real-world play in real time with an attending audience, uh, but we soon discovered that the logistics and scheduling of that and the technical considerations were prohibitive. So we decided to create kind of a walkthrough production, something similar to what you might experience when going on a ride such as the Pirates of the Caribbean at Disney World. After settling upon the format, we divided into small teams. Some students edited the text of the short story in order to work it into a script. Others collaborated on the various visual elements of the project, such as uh, costumes, set decor, etc. Uh, one graduate student actually became really interested in the programming aspects of Second Life, and he programmed the tour that carries the viewer through the castle as the voiceovers relay the story. So what you're going to see here are a few distinct parts of the production cut together to kind of give you a feel for some of the various environments that the students created, how the finished product functioned in Second Life, and I just wanted to mention that the um, voiceovers you will hear were actually performed by uh, two undergraduate theater students, uh, Bill Gordon and Doug Davis. <coughs> So let me just let you know as this is running, um, what would happen is in Second Life, if you start to go on this tour, it will take control of your avatar and run you through so you will see all of these scenes. You can look around as you're going and then also um, hear the story as you walk through. You can also wander through the castle at your own pace without the story as well. Okay. 